Hello guys, in this video I will be explaining the industrial process of acetone butanol fermentation. There are many microorganisms which produces acetone and butanol. Butanol production by microbes was first seen by Louis Pasteur in his culturing tubes. In those days, butanol was used in the process of rubber synthesis. Later, the great scientist Shane Weizmann isolated an acetone butanol producing bacteria named as Clostridium acetobutylicum. During World War I, there was a great demand for acetone because acetone was used to dissolve cordite in making explosives. Clostridium species are gram positive anaerobic spore forming bacilli. Certain strains of Clostridium species produces acetone and butanol. Clostridium acetobutylicum uses corn as substrate whereas Clostridium saccharoacetobutylicum uses molasses as substrate to produce acetone and butanol. But Clostridium acetobutylicum used as in a commercial strain because it gives high yields of these two solvents. The aim of any industry is to get good yields of the product. Therefore, this fermentation process starts with the culture maintenance. Clostridium species are spore forming bacteria. Therefore, they are stored as a soil stalks. It's observed that resistant spores gives higher yields of products. To get heat resistant spores, the sporulated culture is heated at 100 degrees Celsius for 1 to 2 minutes in boiling water bath and followed by rapid cooling. This process is performed to remove vegetative cells and heat labile spores. The survived spores are inoculated in fresh media and incubated at room temperature for few days which allows the organism to form spores. This sporulated culture again heat shocked and this cycle goes on. 100 to 150 cycles can be performed to get heat resistant strain. Corn is the widely used substrate for the acetone butanol fermentation process. Corn seeds are removed and the kernels are ground. This powder is added into water. The resultant mixture is then cooked in cookers using steam at pressure of 30 psi for 2 hours. The desirable concentration of corn is 6 to 8 percent. Later, stillage is added. Stillage is nothing but the remained residual matter from previous batch after product recovery. This process is called sloping back. However, this step is undesirable because of presence of toxic metabolites in the stillage. Therefore, later this step is omitted from the process. The mixture is then sterilized followed by cooling aseptically using water cooler jackets to reach 37 degrees Celsius. The final pH of the medium should be in between 6 to 6.5. This media is used for inoculum preparation. The inoculum development happens in three stages. The first stage is first generation culturing, where 1 gram or 1 ml of stock culture is inoculated in 15 ml of media, followed by incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. In second generation culturing, the first generation culture is inoculated in 2900 ml of media followed by incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. The second generation culture is inoculated in 1000 gallons seed stage tank containing 75% of media. The third generation culture is used as the final inoculum for the fermentation process. The inoculum should be growing and gassing actively. For the fermentation process, Clostridium acetobutylicum requires anaerobic conditions. Therefore, the anaerobic fermenters having capacity of 50,000 to 5 lakh gallons are used. These fermenters are sterilized using steam at 20 psi then cooled using water jackets. Air trapped in the fermenter is removed by pumping inert or carbon dioxide gas to maintain anaerobic conditions. 
to 4% of inoculum is added first followed by the addition of media for proper mixing. Before addition of the media, the media is tested for pH, contaminants and density. The head space is filled with carbon dioxide or inert gas at positive pressure of 2 to 3 psi. These gases acts as anti-foam agent and prevents contamination of the fermentation broth with aerobes. This fermentation process happens in three phases. In first phase, the bacteria grows rapidly by converting sugars to acetic acid, butyric acid by releasing carbon dioxide and hydrogen gases. As a result of acid production, the pH decreases. At the end of the first phase, the bacteria starts producing adaptive enzymes. During second phase, these adaptive enzymes convert acetic acid to acetone and butyric acid to butanol. As a result, the pH of the broth increases. This point of the fermentation process is known as an acidic break. During third phase, solvent production and rate of gas evolution decreases. And at the end of this phase, cell undergoes autolysis, resulting in the release of vitamins and riboflavin. Every 8 hours, the sample is taken from the fermenter for pH and contamination checking. Corn media is more susceptible to contamination. Lactobacillus leishmani was seen more to contaminate the media. It produces lactic acid and slime causing foam formation. The production of lactic acid prevents the adaptive enzyme formation which results in no acidic break. Phages also seen to contaminate the broth resulting in decrease of bacterial numbers as a result affecting on the fermentation process. The contaminants are detected through various techniques like plating, microscopy, hanging drop and pH measuring. 2-3 to three days are required for the completion of fermentation process. Throughout the process, the temperature is maintained at 37 degrees Celsius. After the completion of fermentation process, biomass is separated from the fermentation broth. Solvents from fermentation broth are recovered using distillation process. The fermentation broth is passed to a beer still. The beer still consists of 30 perforated plates to remove solvents. The fermentation broth is added from the top of the still and the steam from the down. The steam comes in contact with the fermentation broth and vaporizes the solvents. The vapors of the solvents are then collected into a condenser and condensed. The condensed solution contains mixture of solvents. This mixture is then purified by fractional distillation in which the steam is passed at different temperatures to vaporize the solvent followed by its condensation. At 87 degrees Celsius, the acetone is removed. At 93 degrees Celsius, butanol is recovered. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas are the major products of this fermentation process which are taken out during the fermentation. From the residual stillage, riboflavin and vitamin B are extracted. 30% of the carbohydrates are converted to solvents. The ratio of butanol, acetone and ethanol produced is 6 is to 3 is to 1. The major byproducts of this fermentation process are carbon dioxide and hydrogen gases. Carbon dioxide can be used in production of dry ice, methanol and ammonia or it can be used as the gas to maintain anaerobic conditions during acetone butanol fermentation. Whereas hydrogen gas is used in chemical reductions, food processing and as a fuel for rocket. Acetone has a wide application in various industries as a solvent. For example, acetone is used in the production of explosives, paints, coating and plastics. In cosmetic industry, acetone is used in the synthesis of skin creams, makeup and nail polish remover. In pharmaceutical industry, acetone is used as an excipient. Acetone removes sticky substances like oil, gum from the cotton. Therefore, it is used in textile industries. 
Butanol also has a wide application in various industries as a solvent. Butanol used in the manufacturing process of rubber, plastic, lubricants. It is also used as the source of biofuel. Butanol is used as a solvent for nitrocellulose lacquers used in the automobile industries. In pharmaceutical industries, butanol is used in the recovery process of drugs. Butanol is also used in the making of polishing and cleaning products. In the cosmetic industries, butanol is used in the making of shampoo, soaps. It is also used in the synthesis of acetate, amines, etc. This process is now not in use for the production of acetone and butanol because of the low yields and the expensive substrate. As a result, nowadays these solvents are easily synthesized through chemical means. This is the process of acetone butanol fermentation. I hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you for watching it.